Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for joining our session today. The Ask, Ask the Experts session for raising the bar with Logitech Solutions for Microsoft Teams. My name is Alex Mooney and I work in Logitech's video collaboration group. I'm super excited to share with you a little bit of information today. I'm joined by two incredible experts. We have Sandhya Rao, Principal Group Product Manager for Microsoft Teams, Android Devices and Peripherals, and Alan Smith, Principal Product Manager for Logitech Video Collaboration. Thank you both so much for joining me. Just to get started, a little bit of housekeeping. We would love to hear from you, and we really want to answer your questions. So we would invite you as you watch this session to actually engage with us and make your questions heard. You can do that by checking out the right side of your screen where there's a Q&A section, and you can post your questions right to us so that our experts can see them we can ask those questions and get them answered. Now we know that in a session this size, it's not likely we're gonna to get to everyone's question, but that's okay. On the last slide of this session, we're gonna continue the conversation and invite you to join us in our live chat feature right on our showcase page, where we have an additional team of experts there that are gonna be ready and waiting to answer your questions and keep the conversation rolling. So before we get started, let me just recap a little bit about the content that we have been sharing with you uh, already. Logitech has been partnered with Microsoft for some time, and we've been really excited to drive innovation together with bringing devices that are certified for Microsoft Teams all the way from your personal desk up to the largest of boardrooms. So that means no matter where you are, with your webcam and headset, you're gonna have a fantastic audio and video quality experience, and we extend that through every component of our systems for small, medium, and large rooms. Today, we're gonna to share a little bit about how Logitech has been raising the bar with its latest video collaboration portfolio for Microsoft Teams Rooms. Now, we're really excited about this because our entire portfolio is the industry's first to be purpose-built to support both Teams Rooms on Windows and Teams Rooms on Android. And we're really excited to share more about this. So here's a little bit of how that looks. Today we're introducing two all-in-one video bars, Rally Bar Mini for small rooms and Rally Bar for mid-size rooms, along with the expandable Rally Plus system for large rooms. Now Rally Bar Mini and Rally Bar come with built-in Teams Rooms on Android support and Roommate extends that Teams Room on Android support to the large rooms with Rally Plus. Our complete portfolio can also be deployed with the traditional Teams Rooms on Windows with an additional meeting room compute. And we have a variety of pre-certified computes from partners like Lenovo, HP, Dell, and Intel. So it's super easy to deploy Microsoft Teams rooms in a variety of different meeting rooms. All you need to do is just start by matching your small, medium, or large configuration to each of your rooms, and then add the accessories that suit your space. So here's Rally Bar Mini in a variety of small Teams rooms from phone booths to brainstorming rooms and even huddle spaces. And here we have Rally Bar in a range of mid-size rooms supporting up to two displays. And to expand the coverage for larger groups and settings, you can also add up to three additional Rally mic pods that can be mounted to the table or to the ceiling. And finally, here's Rally Plus in large rooms across a range of sizes and layouts. And Rally Plus comes with two mic pods, but can be expanded up to seven mic pods. That way you can extend your audio coverage and you can provide convenient access to mute controls. Now, all of our products come with a variety of mounting options. Here you see them self-standing on a desk or a credenza, maybe wall mounted, mounted below the display, or even above the display, or between the displays in the case with Rally Plus here. So you have the flexibility to really customize your experience. And of course, we extend that to our TAP. TAP is our touch controller that extends that experience across all of the rooms. And here you see it mounted on the table mount, directly on the table, propped up at a slightly steeper angle with our riser mount, or even wall mounted with our wall mount to conserve table space. And also our rally mic pod mount, which now comes in both graphite and white, securely anchors the mic pods on the table or on the ceiling, providing you a hidden cable path as well as neatly coiling the excess. 
And of course, we're meticulous about equipping all of our devices with clean and secure cable management. This way you have no unsightly cables and everything is secure and we have cable retention to prevent abuse. All of our Teams Room solutions are also enhanced with our AI-based RightSense technologies. Automated pan, tilt, and zoom enhanced with right side keeps the camera focused on the action. And of course, adaptive beamforming mics with right sound focus on the active talker and auto level louder and softer voices, all while suppressing ambient noises like annoying idle typing or, or other noises like that. And of course, our new video bars, Rally Bar and Rally Bar Mini, come with a second built in camera that's dedicated to computer vision and people counting. So you can also track how your rooms are used over time through the Logitech Sync or with insights delivered by RightSight's people counting function. And of course, it's never been easier to monitor and manage your meeting room devices at scale right from the Teams Admin Center. So as I mentioned, we're introducing two all-in-one video bars, Rally Bar Mini for small rooms and Rally Bar for midsize. Let's take a look at some of those innovations right inside of Rally Bar for the midsize room. Now, Rally Bar comes in both graphite and white. And we essentially took the Ultra HD PTZ Rally camera and we engineered it into the video bar form factor. So just like Rally, Rally Bar creates a natural frictionless meeting experience with motorized pan and tilt and lossless image quality up to 5x optical zoom. And this is digitally enhanced up to 15x total zoom. And we have large ultra low distortion speakers with powerful drivers that fill the room with rich natural sound. And our patented anti-vibration suspension system cancels echo and improves sound quality by minimizing the vibrations that can travel through walls, stands, and tables. And it also enables excellent full duplex so you can have natural two-way conversations without the frustration of audio cutting out. And Rally Bar's advanced mic system picks up voices at every seat with outstanding clarity. An adaptive beamforming mic array, which is indicated here with the purple box, automatically focuses on the active talker, while right sound auto levels the louder and softer voices while suppressing distracting that background noise. And of course, on its own, Rally Bar comes with an expansive 15 mic pickup, 15 foot mic pickup range. But you can have the option to extend that coverage for larger groups and settings with up to three rally mic pods. And those are available in both graphite and white. And as I mentioned, Rally Bar and Rally Bar Mini come with a built-in second camera. We're calling that the AI viewfinder. An AI viewfinder uses scene awareness to enhance right sight auto framing and camera control. And you can also get up and move freely with motorized pan, tilt, and zoom. You can adapt to the meeting dynamics, which keeps the camera focused on the action. And of course, AI Viewfinder has the ability to detect and count meeting participants and deliver those insights through Logitech Sync and the Teams Admin Center. So you can track how your rooms are being used over time. Quick recap. Logitech has been raising the bar with its next generation portfolio of video conferencing room solutions purpose-built for both Teams Rooms on Android as well as Teams Rooms on Windows. And we're excited that this is not just a couple of devices, but an entire portfolio with thoughtful considerations for mounting solutions, cable management, device management at scale, AI enhancements, and the list goes on. So at this point in time, I want to hand it over to our experts. So while, you've, while you're posting your questions into the chat, I'm going to be giving those over to our team. And just to get started, Sandhya, um, we've really had a fantastic partnership with Microsoft over the years, basically dating back all the way to SmartDoc for Skype room systems and Brio, which was our incredible 4K camera, which is certified for Windows Hello. I'm just curious, you've had some experience with Rally Bar now. Maybe you could just share your opinion. Well, thanks, Alex. So, awesome. um, so, so yeah, so I'm really excited first uh, to see uh, this new series come out. Uh, really uh, can't can't wait to actually, um, you know, have it uh, in customers' hands. And I think what's really unique about this particular portfolio is um, 
The optical zoom for sure. So we don't have that yet on any of our Teams rooms on Android devices. And I think that is something that uh, we have customers who are very interested in. I think about uh, healthcare um, customers as well as um, just customers who are maybe in in manufacturing or, or product development where you know they're working remotely and there are some people in the office and some people at home or maybe uh, remote teams. Uh, where they need to, you know, zoom in on whether it's apparel or products um, and things like that that they're trying to develop and bring to market. Um, and so I do think that the optical zoom here will um, definitely help out uh, in, in that sense. And and also, I mean, just in terms of craftsmanship um, from Logi, um, you know, there's multiple uh, different uh, colors and sizes, and uh, I think. Um, just in terms of the the materials used and things like that, um, you know, it definitely has that unique Logi feel. So it's it's really exciting to 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 see uh, to see these coming out. Well, it's been a long journey together, and we're really excited to get these into people's hands. Um, so, Alan, I'll come to you with the same question. Just we've had this journey of getting Rally Bar ready and bringing it to market together. Anything that you'd like to add to what Sambia said about how? Uh, rally bar is sort of set apart or unique? Yeah, there are a few things that come to mind. Um, so, uh, as Sanya mentioned, the uh, the optical zoom. So, rally bar has an optical zoom. Uh, in the future, we'll actually enhance it with a digital zoom as well. So, it'll be a combination of both optical and digital zoom. So, as she mentioned, uh, to our knowledge, certainly the um, one of the few, if not the only bar available on the market now with a uh, optical zoom. Uh, let's see, we also have a motorized pan and tilt. That makes a difference because uh, two things. One is you're able to see more of the room because the lens can actually pan and tilt around. The other part of it is that a uh, on any image, image sensor or lens, you have uh, the best image quality in the center. And so anything you can do to move that center to the area that you're interested in looking at is going to give you the best image quality. So that's why it's nice to have the uh, motorized pan and tilt. Uh, let's see, a couple of things. Uh, we actually include a two-year warranty uh, on all of our video collaboration pro products. Uh, we have a host of accessories that uh, come around to help the, make the install really nice. You mentioned some of those, Alex. Uh, and then also you touched on something that we feel pretty strongly about, and that is cable management. When these things are deployed, the cables are secured. They aren't going to fall out. They're uh, hidden away, and so people aren't you know, inadvertently pulling them out or nefariously pulling them out. And so the room stays up and working. So th those are just a few things that come to mind. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And Sandia, maybe this next question is good for you. Um, what is the plan in terms of feature parity between Windows and Android? And what new Android features can we expect? Great question. We get that a lot. Uh, so uh, we're and, and basically, uh, we have a very uh, robust and developed portfolio when it comes to MTR on Windows. It's been around for a couple of years now, um, and uh, you know that that is uh, kind of the the um, flagship uh, device that we have for Teams Rooms. The Android portfolio is certainly growing. Uh, we just launched it last year, and uh, you know, as you can see, we do have uh, features coming out regularly. Uh, we are obviously a little bit behind in terms of um, the the Windows portfolio. However, our goal is really to ensure that pretty much 80% of the things that people are doing in Teams rooms can be addressed across either device. So whether you have uh, Windows devices or Android devices or a mix, uh, every single person that walks into that room is going to have a seamless, you know, easy to join experience when you're in the Teams uh, room and you're in a meeting, you're going to have all of the inclusive features that uh, we offer, whether it's raising hands or um, viewing uh, together mode uh, and, and a number of um, those types of features. So we are trying to stay in parity with Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows as much as possible. Um, because it's a new portfolio, uh, you know, we are uh, adding in uh, additional components, so things on the horizon that uh, you will see uh, uh, touch console uh, support is coming soon as 
is HDMI ingest support. Uh, and so those are things that you will see soon uh, and that are already available on the uh, Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows devices. Uh, and and then, you know, over time, what you'll see is the, the portfolios will continue to converge. So again, those flagship experiences you'll see on both devices. They might be a quarter uh, earlier on Windows or, or whatnot, but, but they will be there. Um, but there are going to be nuances. So at Ignite, uh, we just talked about our uh, new intelligent speaker uh, that provides transcription. That's going to be available for Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows first. Uh, that won't come to the Android portfolio as quickly as it will um, you know, be available on the Windows portfolio. So those uh, maybe, I, I guess, next gen, um, you know, innovative uh, types of uh, peripherals might you might see those uh, first on Windows and then on Android. Uh, so hope that answers uh, the question to many of your uh, your customers out there. It's a question we get all the time. Absolutely, thank you for that answer. I, I appreciate it. And this next one, Alan, it, it's about hardware. Um, the question in is that in the exploded picture of Rally Bar, there's a bunch of little orange circles. Are those microphones? So maybe I'll put that picture back on the screen and you could just tell us a little bit about the sort of uniqueness of the architecture there. OK, sounds good. Oh uh, yeah. OK, OK, I see what you're saying. All right, so um, in the uh, in the box there, what you see is a uh, circuit board with six microphones on it. So those are um, those are indeed six microphone elements. They're doing beam forming. As you mentioned, it picks up a we, we rated it at 15 foot pickup range. I would say that's relatively conservative. We feel very comfortable in saying that's going to work in any room. Uh, the other thing that maybe just to make sure we're talking about uh, that I'm answering the question properly. You can see on the sides of the uh, speaker boxes are also some little circular things. Um, what those are it, are actually little shock absorbers for the speaker enclosure. So if you've got, you notice the driver there, that fits into that little box. So that enclosure fits inside the main enclosure. So that speaker enclosure is actually fully suspended by those little rubber shock absorbers. And what those are doing is um, isolating the energy from that, you know, that speaker moving very quickly when, you know, someone's talking uh, from getting into the microphones. So the mechanical vibration. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to reduce distortion. It's going to improve the echo canceller. And so overall, it's just going to be a better uh, voice experience. So it's, it's a detail. And I think what it also shows is, um, you know how much effort we put into just the little things in this product. I mean, there's a lot of thought that went into really every aspect of this system. Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think we can see those design considerations there and that thoughtfulness put in. Um, Sandia, I'm going to come back to you. We have a question here from the chat. Um, it says we're moving to a new office in the fall and planning our many conference rooms. And I like the idea of the rally bar and having a portable Surface Hub 2S, will it be easy and intuitive to move a hub into the Rally Teams room and easily use the two screens in a meeting with TAP? So we do have that use case. It's on Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows um, and it's called Coordinated Join. Uh, so you can easily connect a uh, Surface Hub with the Microsoft Teams room on Windows uh, in one room and um, use those two screens in or, you know, if you have a dual screen on the Microsoft Teams room on Windows plus the um, Surface Hub, you can use that in concert. Awesome. Um, OK, there's one that's being highly thumbs up, so thanks for upvoting those questions so that we can see those. Alan, I'm going to direct this to you. Um, the Rally Bar series seems similar to another video bar, which we've seen on the market, um, which uses MTR and Android. Uh, what are some differentiators that Logitech brings to the table? Uh, yeah, OK, great question. So, um, so I think some of those are of I've already addressed. Um, you, you, the, if you're looking at um, uh, most of the bars out there, uh, as been mentioned before, have uh, a digital zoom. 
And um, I, I would say that digital Zoom probably works just fine for a small conference room. Uh, but once you get into a larger room, you really need to have optical zoom because it's going to be able to zoom out much further. The resolution is going to be much better. Uh, so that's probably one of the key differentiators. I would say that if you're most of the products out there, I think work for a, you know, would be fine for a, uh, mid, a small room. But I think the rally bar is really the only midsize room product on the market. And on top of that, there's the motorized pan and tilt. There's the, the motorized pan tilt and zoom. Uh, there's the AI viewfinder camera. There's the cable management. There's the ecosystem of accessories. There's uh, the longer warranty, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, a lot of differences, I think. Awesome, yeah. And maybe a couple of quick, quick fire questions here for you. Um, what's the resolution of Rally? Does it differ between the different Rally models? So I guess Rally Bar Mini, Rally Bar, and of course Rally Plus. Um, and is it able to remove backgrounds? So I, I know the background piece is a feature in, um, in the Teams desktop client, but not in Teams rooms. So uh, maybe the resolution one is a good question. Yeah, so uh, all of the cam cameras that we've introduced over the last several years are all capable of 4K resolution. Excellent. Um, and then just a quick follow up. Uh, are we going to be discontinuing Meetup and Rally? So uh, Meetup and Rally will continue on in the portfolio for years to come. Uh, so no plans to discontinue those. I think Meetup uh, is, you know, it, it's it's a great product for what it is. It's been incredibly successful for us. I think there are some rooms that Meetup makes sense in. Uh, Rally and the Rally Plus obviously work great for larger rooms. And so, yeah, absolutely, we're going to continue with that as well. So uh, no plans to discontinue those for years. Awesome. OK, Sandia, back over to you. Uh, with growing use cases for Teams rooms on Android devices, how is this going to impact management of devices at scale? It's a great question. So right now, all of our uh, Teams rooms on Android do connect up to our Teams Admin Center. And so in the Teams Admin Center, you can get the inventory of all your devices. You can understand uh, what the status of those devices are. Uh, and you can do kind of basic management of those devices. We uh, continue to invest in our Teams Admin Center, so you will see over time uh, a lot more uh, uh, improvements uh, to that platform, such as notifications uh, when you know uh, things are offline, um, and a number of uh, ways you can tag and group those devices depending on where they're located and whatnot. Uh, the other big uh, feature that we are uh, releasing very soon uh, on our Android phones is called Zero Touch, uh, sort of, I would just call it remote, remote login. And what remote login does is it allows a technician to go in and plug in a device and then leave the room and then an IT admin can go in and uh, can go into you know, uh, the, the system and their remote from where the room is, and they can actually log into that device. Uh, that feature is a kind of um, rollout across different devices over time. So first you'll see it on phones, but since it is part of our Android platform, uh, that will also come to our Teams rooms on Android. And you'll also see those features, you know, over time uh, accrue to all of our devices. So uh, that's something where at scale, you know, uh, one, it cuts down costs because a technician has to go in and do less when they're in the room. And then Secondly, uh, it provides that IT admin the ability to actually manage that room better, even if they're 3,000 miles away from where that room is located. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, Alan, two quick questions for you. Um, number one, uh, I can't really tell from the pictures how big is Rally Bar? Uh, yeah, so uh, Rally Bar is about 90 centimeters wide, so just a little less than a meter, about three feet wide. So that gives you an idea. And the next one, what is beam forming? We hear it a lot, but what does it mean and do? Yeah, so what happens is uh, you've got multiple mic elements and in between each mic element, they are creating what's called a beam. And a beam is what it sounds like. It's the, the it's uh, 
creating effectively a lobe that sits out in front of the um, the mic elements. What that's doing is uh, you have multiple beams in Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, and what that's doing is looking for the active talker. And what it's doing is every eight milliseconds, 125 times a second, it is identifying where the active talker is and switching to that beam. And then once the active talker is identified in a beam, the other beams are attenuated, so it kind of reduces the ambient noise from uh, other places in the room. So what it's doing is and it giving you a, a better, uh, better mic pickup and helping reduce uh, the ambient noise. Great, thanks for that. Uh, here's a question from the chat uh, for Sandia. Uh, is there a plan to have a scroll bar on the touch control, in this case, our tap, um, for more than three meetings scheduled for the same time frame? Can we use these for virtual courtrooms if they get booked up to 35 cases or more? Um, so do you have a, an answer for that? So what we do have coming very soon is a calendar view. Um, and so if you're in calendar view, you can um, you can see multiple meetings stacked on top of each other and scroll through those. Uh, typically, uh, it's not a good idea to have multiple meetings at the same time for a particular room, um, you know, just because um, you know you want the room to be booked for one for, for one meeting, but um, that's that's you know settings and things like that that the IT admin would uh, need to control. Excellent, yeah. Um, and we just have a couple minutes left, so maybe a couple quick questions. Uh, number one, Alan, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the design of the mounting hardware? Yeah, sure. So um, we it, it, we have both a uh, so it comes with a stand, table stand uh, in the box. Then we have as the uh, accessories, a wall mount and a display mount, a TV mount. And uh, of course the wall mount can be mounted anywhere on the wall and the TV mount can be mounted either above or below. The nice thing is both mounts work with both Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, so you only need one to support both, right? Uh, a couple things that are, I think, interesting about that is uh, the adjustability and that is, um, so you think about, as I mentioned, Rally Bars, relatively big you know and but and so if you have it above or below to your display you really want that thing exactly parallel to the display and so it gives you the option to uh, adjust it. it has a little tilt mechanism built into both the tv and dis er, tv mount and the wall mount so it allows you to dial it in uh really well so yeah, that's a little bit about it great fantastic um do external mic pods require a table hub uh, they do not. External mic pods can will plug directly into Rally Bar or Rally Bar Mini. And one more, would you recommend Rally Bar Mini for a home office? If not, what would you recommend? Uh, yeah, I mean, so Rally Bar Mini would work for a home office. I think if it would work for a home office if you're the kind of person who's maybe um, uh, you know, maybe sitting away, you have a desk that you move or a table you move to sometimes. Uh, certainly have a, a, a variety of webcams and, and headsets as well. It would work, certainly. Awesome. I think that's about the last of our time for today. Uh, we're right here at the bottom of the half hour. So I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Now, I know we weren't able to get to all the questions. I've seen a ton of them. Uh, but we have this QR code here. This just takes you back to our showcase page for Ignite. And of course, if you want to go over there, we have a team of experts answering your questions in live chat. And of course, you can also, if chat's not your thing, head over to logitech.com slash Microsoft slash rooms. And I just want to thank Sambia and Alan for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.